Hi, I'm Hermione Lofton, and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Facey Strahan, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Lily Dobbins, I'm also a sophomore. I'm Brianna Beeman, I also happen to be a sophomore, and we're from Waverly High School. This is our cheer! And this is dress coded. It happens so suddenly. One moment, it's summer, you're sitting by the pool, soaking in the sun. Iced tea in your hand, listening to the top 20 hits on the radio. Nighttime campfires with gooey marshmallows. Wearing crop tops, spaghetti, spaghetti straps, cutoffs, and literally no one cares. As more and more pressure from the incoming school year mounts, you, you remember, remember the, the dreaded dress code. When your mom drags you to the mall and every single one of your flaws is brought back from the recesses of your mind. I panic when the mannequins from Forever 21 point and laugh. They say I have no hips. My boobs are too big. Legs too short. And I'll never be as eye-popping as Kim Kardashian. Or any seven-foot-tall supermodel, for that matter. They, they look perfect, perfect in those clothes, clothes yet when, when I, I try them, them on, that shirt's too short. Pants too big in the waist. V-neck too low. I am left banished to the clearance section. Grabbing at itchy sweaters and stained pants. Flipping through pages and pages of the school handbook. Trying to find some profound reason as to why bra lips are allowed to be seen, but not sports bra straps. And after that confidence boost, I enter the school feeling. The stairs on my back. The judging glares run down my neck. Are there too many holes in my pants? Is my dress too short? Should, Should I, I have brought another, another shirt? shirt? Am, Am I going to get dress coded? If we get dress coded, we are forced to sit and wait for our parents to hopefully bring us a fresh pair of clothes. Or where someone else is from the lost and found bin. This seemingly minor offense could be put onto our permanent record. We can be kicked out of clubs and extracurriculars. I go to soccer practice in 100 degree heat. The guy's solution to this problem is to just take off their shirt. If I ever dared to take off my shirt, I would be kicked off the soccer team because administration gasps at the sight of a sports bra. <gasps> my clothes have become nothing more than a wet weight boiling, wet boiling weight dragging me down. We, we have, have enough to worry, worry about, about just in daily life. life. I've got five tests. Three, three essays, essays, one group project, and seven teachers all demanding every second of my time. We shouldn't have to worry about if our outfits are too short. Or if our shoulders are showing. Why should I put someone else's comfort above my own? Why, Why should the images of my body limit my education? <laughs>